when you grow a plant, you put the plant on, in the earth, you know, and you're going to water it, but you never, you cannot control how the plant is going to grow. The plant grows by itself. Music is like that, you know, you have no control and it just does what it wants and does what it wants with you, and I think that's the beauty of it. Tune is really something that I heard, and an improvisation is something that I hear as well. You know, it's in both cases, it is material that gets to me through inspiration that I can hear and feel, and the way it comes out, it's just, I mean, I would say the final detail, you know. Here again I have a project for a solo recording and solo piano has become a very important thing in my life. I, I have always played solo, you know, like I said, from a young age, but for some reason my solo playing, I didn't get satisfied by my solo playing until very recently, I would say maybe three or four years ago, where I really felt like something fell into place. I think I was really trying to play the piano all those years and suddenly I switched to making music. You know, I always I have that thing that I call the love rule, which means that anything that applies to music applies to love and vice versa. And anything that doesn't apply to love doesn't apply to music and vice versa. I mean, to me, music and love are exactly the same thing. For example, some people ask me, what's your conception of music? What, what, what's your concept? And I like, would you ask somebody, what's your conception of love and what's your concept in love? That would sound like a stupid question, and I'm like, that's exactly the same thing. You know, I mean, your question doesn't ring true because music is like love, you know, there is no concept or conception, at least for me. That's the way I perceive music and I feel music and I live music. <laughs> 